Your morning news now. Attorney General William Barr takes a public swipe at President Donald Trump, saying the president's tweets about the Roger Stone case makes it impossible for him to do his job. Top Democrats also plan to investigate what they call the Attorney General's efforts to politicize federal law enforcement. The president does not have the authority to go to war. Senate Democrats are celebrating after the Iran War Powers Resolution passes. The resolution limits President Trump's power on matters of war with Iran. It now moves on to the House, but is expected to be vetoed by President Trump. A second child has died from influenza in Wisconsin, according to the state's Department of Health Services. DHS confirms that the person was under the age of 18 and from southern Wisconsin, but no other details have been released. It is a very cold start to this Friday. Air temperatures ranging from the teens to 30s below zero. And even with just a slight wind, dangerous wind chills in spots. This is why we do have a wind chill advisory in effect through 10 o'clock this morning. Wind chills as cold as 20 to 35 degrees below zero. Wisconsin's spring primary is just days away and election officials are working to make sure you are prepared. Polls open next Tuesday at 7 in the morning throughout Wisconsin. And as long as you are in line by 8 in the evening, you will be able to vote. La Crosse City Council is moving forward with the Grandma's Gateway Project. The project adds new trails and access points on the bluff above 29th Street and would run above several homes, causing some safety concerns for neighbors. As a solution, the city proposed transferring the affected properties from a single family district to a conservancy district. Last night, the city council passed the rezoning with a vote of nine to three. Local GOP representatives are unveiling a package of bills today in West Salem. The tax cut package would return surplus dollars in the state back to Wisconsin residents. Representatives Lauren Oldenburg and Nancy Vandermeer are co-sponsors of the tax cut proposal. A new Indian grocery store could be built at the former Plaid Pantry site. The city's Community Development Committee approved a letter of interest to develop the lot at 7th and Jackson. The property would be mixed used with apartments available. It would also be used for Indian and South Asian community members who would otherwise travel to Rochester or Minneapolis for groceries. Looking ahead to your weekend, local music students in band, choir, and orchestra have been busily preparing for this year's solo and ensemble music festival on Saturday. There will be five area high schools and nearly 500 different performances showcasing their skills. The event starts at 8 a.m. on Saturday at Central High School in La Crosse. And it is a very cold start to this Friday. Temperatures range from the teens to 30s below zero. And we're only going to warm to about zero degrees by lunchtime. Highs today in the lower teens later today. But those temperatures keep rising overnight and will be about 20 degrees warmer for tomorrow. The chance of light snow showers, 33, some sun on Sunday with a high of 30. A happy Valentine's Day to you. We hope you have a great weekend and we will look forward to seeing you right back here on Monday. Monday morning. Stay warm.